we had a ranch over in Ellensburg, Kittitas, and then uh, we uh, finally sold that and moved back over here, bought Harley's, and then for 13 years her and I uh, went back to Sturgis on our Harley's. And so it's been a great life. My PSA went up to 1,050 from, and it's, you're supposed to be at uh, no more than four. When I uh, started this, I uh, went in and they said, they did the biopsy and said, okay, you got stage four cancer. It didn't bother me. I said, well, what if I don't do anything? Well, you got six months to a year and uh, the cancer won't take you, but it'll shut down something in your system that'll uh, take your life. At that point, uh, I looked at my wife and she says, you're gonna get it taken care of. And so I couldn't do that to her. The one thing that I found with this is if you don't stay positive, no matter what they do for you, uh, if you put stress in your life and you stress over this, uh, you don't get the healing that the medications can do. Luckily for me, uh, they sent me down to Dr. Chen. The, my primary sent me to Kaufman, and Kaufman uh, looked at me and, and uh, said, this is where we're gonna send you. I went down there. Uh, the people, even on the radiation side, uh, came in and they knew my name. Uh, they uh, made me feel like that I was at home. My best chance was to have faith in that doctor that uh, has spent his life trying to get something together that, uh, that other places don't do. And that's the individual, uh, working with the individual person but, and not trying to say, okay, you have this type of cancer and this is how we're gonna treat you. There, you have to, they have to know each time what your body can take and what it can't. And so they, and then the balance is, is trying to uh, get that to where it, it don't take your life, but get you to the point where it, it gets that under control. Dr. Chen, when you meet with him and to go over where you're at, what you're doing, uh, how your system is, because when you have a pH, that's 1,050, I didn't even know it could go that high. I've never heard of anybody else going that high. He explained to me kind of what we were going to do. And I says, you don't have to really explain to me because I have faith in what you're doing. And they take your blood work, then they uh, diagnose that to what your blood counts are, high and low, or what your system can take because every time I went in my medication wasn't always exactly the same and uh, because I went 12 weeks non-stop then I got a huge rash on the side of my face and my back so we t Dr. Chen took me off and said let's lay off two weeks then we're going to do six more and okay and it cleared up to where it was almost completely gone. And we got back at it. And all of a sudden, my PSA just started dropping radically. It went from 1,000 down to 100, uh, down to 75, down to 50, uh, down to 20, and now it's 0 0.1. And it's been staying that way. Miraculous. Dr. Chen, the one thing I really like about him, and some people think it's a negative, is he don't give you so much information that you can't process it or it becomes a negative rather than a, than a positive. And that's one reason that he keeps some of the stuff a little closer and gives you what you need at the moment because down the road uh, he can give you more of an insight of what your, what your body's gonna do, how it's gonna react to this, and everybody reacts different. My theory is, is 
you trust the doctors and the other is as you keep your mind as positive as you can and don't look at cancer as being this thing that can beat you and even when we know that eventually it might take us yeah, because it could come back don't look at it that way you look at it as hey I had a great day we end up uh, being thankful for the things that we have I'm really blessed that uh, I've, that they sent me to this place. Otherwise, I think I'd be gone.